it is key that, that you see the owner in the business every day. The former CEO of Lordstown Motors starts unloading stock. The oldest district heating and cooling system in the U.S. could soon be sold. And a local businesswoman shares some lessons learned on how to operate a business. This is The Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. Steve Burns, the former CEO of Lordstown Motors, has started to unload company stock. According to a regulatory filing Tuesday, Burns sold more than 3.2 million shares, worth more than $18.8 .8 million. According to the filings, Burns held 26.25% of stock in Lordstown Motors and remains the largest single shareholder in the company. Half of Burns' shares were locked until October 2021. The other half are under lock until October 2022. As we record this, the Public Utilities Commission of Ohio is considering whether to approve the sale of Youngstown Thermal and Youngstown Thermal Cooling's assets to Dublin, Ohio-based Sobe Thermal Energy Solutions. The parties are seeking PUCO's authority to transfer the assets for $250,000 per an agreement signed more than two years ago. Sobe has said there would be no rate changes once the transfer was completed. Sobe says it intends to install two new boilers and is looking to add YSU and Mercy Health to the system. System. It has non-binding letters of intent from both entities. Commissioned in 1895, the plant is the oldest district heating and cooling system in the U.S. Operating a business isn't easy and you have to learn from your mistakes quickly. In today's 3 Minutes with video, we bring you an excerpt from our Brain Gain Navigator series in which Melissa Poland, owner of Sweet Melissa's Good Eats in Boardman and Columbiana, shares some tips she learned upon starting her business. It is key that, that you see the owner in the business every day. I think that makes a world of difference, you know, for some people. And it's also one of my primary most important things that I have uh, that I teach all of my new employees. It doesn't take anything to smile. You can hear more in the three minutes with video at businessjournaldaily.com. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, links are available in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: Business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: It's knowing you were treated right every time. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com.